It was an auspicious day in Slep, when a siren by the name of Shura arrived. Recently, the citizens of Mauritania had been reported to be sleepwalking late at night. She requested access to the sealed sanctuary, claiming to be following the trail of something sinister, and that she may know what's causing the sleeper plague. Promptly, she was granted access. Lanterns flickered, licking the walls with light as they walked towards the slumber of their officials and their mother, Fosani. Arriving in the atrium, that's where they found it. A malevolent entity known as the Nightmare invaded the sanctuary to feast on their eternal dreams. Now, yeah. good luck. Good luck. She's really handy. Oh, another Is elite! It? Oh my gosh, man. Are you kidding me? Can I catch a break from these elites, Can man? Can you do it? I cannot! Woo! Finally a drop from here, man. That requires 15 agility. I can't do that. Oh, thankfully. That is another missed battle staff. We don't need that, now do we? Well, it's a completed totem. I don't know how to feel about that. I've had a lot of superiors recently, but that is not something we need. Still hold now hope for that imbued heart eventually. All right, Skatizo, your time is now. Hand unto me the elite clue, which is completable. Or don't, and I'll just see myself out of this room. Oh, and what do you know? The hard clue is also incompletable. 17 KC is a bust. 34 minutes, that's really good, actually. No! Teak planks and dragon arrows? Oh, man, that's my new highest point raid. That's really good. Wow. Yay! That was an extremely good duo. Holy hell. All right, Shaman's task is afoot, and I have decided that, once again, I'm going to buy the Magic Shortbow Scroll just so that I can imbue my Magic Shortbow. The extra accuracy will be extremely nice, so we go from 69 attack bonus to 75. And of course, the improved special attack. More accuracy means I hit more, which means Shaman's grind is faster. Though, regardless, it's ridiculously long as is, so I doubt I'm going to enjoy this one. Ah yes, a legendary 1 in 1042. Love to see it. Uh... A dragon medhelm? That seems pretty rare, man. I mean, it's RDT, but it's only 1 in 3200, so it's not too bad, I guess. It's a nice alk. Dude, another elite clue? There's actually 0% chance I can do this, right? I can get the Lava Battle Staff, I can get the Black Dehyde Van Braces, but I cannot get a Mind Shield. That requires Elemental Workshop number two. Big. Sand Fuse, please. 31 Addy Ore. Wow. Oh, oh, oh chance right stop. off the bat. Chance. I was, I was gonna say, I'm gonna take. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, this is a bad idea. I'm not focused enough. It's so, alright. Borzath is taking it's, a break. It, it's over. Like, it's over. Yeah. We're done with Oh, this. that's all of fame. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Another elite. Northeast corner in Shiloh Village. We cannot do that, and that is yet another elite clue scroll dropped. But that is okay, because I don't really have inventory space to spare right now. Oh, this is gonna be my fourth death if I keep. I'm, this is not smart. <laughs> No! Oh, no! At least you gave Sam something for the video compilation. Oh, I fucking said it. I fucking said it too. <laughs> you literally just said it. Oh, it's amazing. I was stupid on my part. I should have just gone for the kill. A little bit onto that, actually. I gotta pick up Kiwi's bones. There we go. Bury them. Blood sacrifice has been completed. I have a fourth death now. Holy! Oh man, Bro, that's so close. 16 HP, no food equals. <laughs> you lost. Nature runes. Sad man. 
Okay, cool. Yay! <laughs> so Thanks, too good. <laughs> That's like a lot. Too good. <laughs> <laughs> I just hear no, and I look over and I see just the death animation. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're giving Are Nightmare you? too many blood sacrifices recently. <laughs> Here it is. 500 Oops. KC. Good luck. Hey, 500. Oh, Very Burbo's. Fuck, I would have been in the clip. <laughs> there it is. 500. Easy money. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, you're so fucking lucky. lucky. Oh, I should have died. Happened? That's twice. Uh, I should have died. He got zero after the redem after redemption. My game. brain's like, off. Like... My brain's actually <laughs> off. <laughs> he walked into. He walked into uh, shadow. Uh, my did. brain's actually off. He did. That's the first for... time I've died I'm like so that. I'm so sad, no. Imagine being in a kill with Burbo and being outlasted by him. What? He died before I'm me. already dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, like, uh, <laughs> I was completely overwhelmed there. I should have died. That was, like, deserved. I, I right-clicked my strength cape to teleport, but I clicked above it. Oh! <laughs> I gotta be doing my brain to Swiss cheese at this point. All calculated. There it is. I'm sharking. All right, I, I gotta do the log out. Hey, all right, hey, two. <laughs> Yoink. It's nothing. Rune hey. arrow. And that's officially 100 dry. Oh, that's a trident for which I have no room. Well, crap. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we do Kraken Tasks. Look at all of those sand fuse, and that doesn't even include the four other sand fuse I got in about 40 kills the other day. This task was actually bonkers on the sand fuse drops. So in attempts to save money, I have 347 charges left in this first trident, but the second trident is full. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncharge the lower charge trident, just so I don't have to charge it back up and spend that extra cash again. We will not get the coins back, but we do get a bunch of runes. And now we have an uncharged trident, which we can elk. Mind you, we can't do this as soon as I upgrade my trident, as obviously we'll have to get 10 Kraken tentacles again, and that will not be fun. There it is, whip number five. 2,132 Abyssal Demons. I guess I'll check my Slayer Ring while I have it on me after this kill. 2,249 Abyssal Demons for whip number five. And there it is, big task number 400 completed for 450 Slayer points. 91 Slayer, and that means we can now kill Cerberus. And as you guys may or may not know, Cerberus is the legendary hellhound which drops the crystals which will upgrade several different combat-esque boots. But that will not work on our account because you need 60 runecrafting to combine those very crystals with the boots. Therefore, it is not an option for our account. Therefore, we do not need to do the boss. So today was the day that Below Ice Mountain was released, and alongside this update came an extra tweak to Nightmare. Nightmare drop calculations will now factor in the total contribution that is present when the boss dies. This is to prevent boosting of drops. Hello, Future Sam here. To this day, Jagex still has not addressed the changes in particular that they made this day at Nightmare. So all we really have to go off of is pure speculation. So this is the way that I believe it works. Let's say you do a five man and you have an individual die who has 20% contribution. Before the update, if that individual died, I believe that 20% would have just went to the other members. And after the change, I believe it is taken with the individual when they die. So out of an 100% chance, if someone dies, there is now only an 80% chance. In this instance, a magic seed, another one, another one. Well, there is our first Xerix Talisman Inert from Shamans on Inquisitor, I believe. Oh, is it really gonna start this early? Oh no. 
Long bone number two. And into the ground it goes. All right, what am I going to get from these two mediums? Nothing. Uh, adamant pickaxe. Wizard boots. <laughs> Wizard? Oh, no. Please, no. You can't buy. Let's see. What's it going to be? Adamant plate body H2 upgrade, bro. Easy game. Oh, my God. That's actually so sexy on your account. <laughs> you I can wear it. Uh, Narda teleports, you shortbow, you longbow, gnomish fire lighter. So I just gave pyre lords a shot on the Isle of Souls, and they hurt. So that is not really a good option for medium clue hunting. But as you guys can see, there's a medium casket here in the inventory. So let's drop a few things and open it up. Adamant plate body G. Oh man, we can flex on the haters now. A second gnomish fire lighter. I think I just got those back to back. That's pretty cool. Dude, my mouse froze. That was so close. My mouse literally froze. Defender. What? Bro, what the f <laughs> Clicks? You good? Oh, well. What the f I see what happened, but that tile was not black for me. I'm sure it was just my character model fully overlaying it. Maybe it was my prayer, but makes me very angry. I clicked on the boss! Are you kidding me? There is another Kraken tentacle, which we will be feeding to leave my Kraken. Yep, give it to her. Two tentacles stored. Not gonna lie, sort of want to play with one of my pets. So while we do some raids, I'm going to yoink out the Nightmare Pet. Pet Insurance Bureau, 1 million GP. Goodbye, cash stack. Drop the little Nightmare, and there it is. Now we're fancy when we're raiding. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, purple! Wow, oh, you fucking called it. Told you. Oh You're my wrong. god. You, you fucking hate to see it. Actually, terrible, man. Whoa, okay. Elite, torn prayer scroll, and uh, dragon arrows. Oh, it is a drop, beautiful. Loot from a few hours of guards, two medium caskets. We actually had a surprising number of dropped clues today. I think I got around eight medium clues or so, and I only got two completed, so. Number one, a crier coat and an adamant full helm T. Man, we were so close to getting the Addy full helm G. And the second one, nothing. Man, I'm just trying to get an emerald ring so that I can go and do this medium clue, but now I've got myself a crawling hand I can use on the dark altar. And that will be a free 2,500 prayer experience. That's a win for me. Our good friend the Dark Altar and our good friend 2,500 prayer XP. So one of the medium clue steps which I can receive is to play Karumja Jam, the musical soundtrack for the lady in Falador Park. And... We can pay Banasach over here 5,000 trading sticks in order to get access to the area which unlocks the track. So I'm killing some tribesmen for trading sticks, and I'll probably transition over to some jogers since they have the chance to drop a champion scroll. So before we continue killing the lovely, lovely tribesmen, we are going to open up this medium casket. So let's open it up. Climbing boots, G! Oh no, they're the same drop rate as manacles. Oh, that's so depressing. Oh, I don't know how to feel about that. That's sad. That is really sad. We had the process of receiving the uh, golden uh, climbing uh, boots, but we are going to be alking them as they are a 45k high elk 
and we are not doing the Death Plateau quest. I'd rather fully dedicate myself to getting the spiked manacles, even though getting the specific item is rarer. The tribesmen actually drop medium clues at a rate of 1 in 138, so 10 worse than the guards drop rate, but I'm just passively gonna do them while I get trading sticks. There it is, the final trading stick drop. We've got 5,000. It's been maybe five hours. I've just been chilling out all day, killing tribesmen, doing medium clues. Well, as you guys can see on the right now, we killed 1,060 tribesmen. We got five medium clues and we got four caskets. It's a deal. Here is the 5,000. Beautiful. So I believe as soon as we go down this tunnel, I'll get the soundtrack and I just teleport out. Enter the dungeon. There it is, Karamja Jam, and it's unlocked. Now, as for the clue caskets, are we going to get a back-to-back -back off of the last one? No, that is fine. An Ancient Blessing, though. That's pretty decent. We can bring that to Nightmare if we want. Next... Wow, I really fumbled my words there. Next casket, nothing. Another one, it is a Sarah page, that's not that great. And last but not least, a mithril plate skirt trimmed, and that it will be an elk. The double unique, holy look at me, I'm fancy dude. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're joking. I've had every single boot now except the spiked manacles. What is the RNG on this account? <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, man. Well, I guess that's an upgrade for raids, right? <laughs> oh, I'm missing manacles and wizard boots. That's a really solid pull of boots and 50 clues? That's actually disgusting. I guess the odds are unlikely that I'm gonna get the manacles now, though. Wow, another casket. <laughs> Interesting unique. Uh... That's not supposed to happen. Uh, yeah, about that. That's not how RNG is supposed to work. Thanks, I guess. I'll take it. I won't complain. Free charges for me. Another Kraken Tentacle coming on into the inventory. So this inventory sort of went a little bit downhill. So since I am not death piling right now, I don't have access to this other Kraken Tentacle. So I think what I'm going to do is use this Kraken Tentacle on my whip so that I can raid a bit more efficiently. If I decide to grind out some more medium clues, I have my Leaf Blade Battle Axe and it's not bad. So let's just use the Kraken Tentacle on the whip. Let it consume the whip. Beautiful. And of course, when we do end up death piling again, you know, getting rid of the million coins that are following us, we can then exchange this Kraken Tentacle at leave. Oh, yo! Oh my god. Adamant Full Helm G? We just need the plate legs now, and we've got the full Adamant G set. Holy dude. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that's sick! The time has come. I have had enough fun with my million gold coins following me, and honestly realized how much of a detriment that it is to actually following me. So, it is time to chuck the pet and continue my journey. Now, honestly, I'm going to be doing more of the same. Medium clues, nightmare, raids, etc. Trying to get more upgrades. However, by death piling now, I will be able to optimize my setups for raid, let's say. I've had my fun with the nightmare stick attacking ice demon, but really it's not worth the extra two inventory slots that I could have for food. But after this next Barrows trip, I will be dropping the ectoplasmeter because I want this inventory spot back. Oh, Aram's robe skirt. Imagine if I had an actual use for it. Oh, the back-to-back -back elite, but is it completable? Lament for the hollowed, I'm gonna say no. That is correct, I don't think. Oh yeah, I get, that's a big drop. There's zero chance I'm ever gonna be able to do Sins of the Father. 
So, here we are, end of the Barrow session. We got 420 KC, there you go, in the chat. So the whole reason why I'm here is I wanted to show you guys that you cannot sell back the items that you receive from Soul Wars, and that's a little bit sad in my opinion, at least in the case of the Ectoplasmator or the Soul Cape. I think we should be able to sell them back for maybe 80% of the zeal that you've earned, but... You know, worst comes to worst, if I need the ectoplasmeter, I'll just get it again. In the most recent poll blog, poll 75, they announced that they're adding an item called the Ash Scatterer. So I believe because that item is coming, the ectoplasmeter is not getting the upgrade. And honestly, the amount of prayer XP I get versus the inventory slot that I use is pretty huge. So there it goes. Goodbye. We will see you again. Probably never. A huge thank you to my channel members, CJ, Jalzil Slay, Omar, and Blake. Not a fan of subscriptions? I'm now on Buy Me A Coffee, where you can support me with a one-time donation. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of future uploads. Leave a like and comment down below, and be sure to check out the next part on screen now.